that I want to tell you the story of where God has brought me from. Um, I can say that he actually brought me out of a merry clay and set my, my feet on the rock. <laughs> To my channel Don't settle. hello everyone um i hope you're doing well today i am very excited today and i will tell you why in a minute but i just want to quickly thank dr lola and dr binga for inviting me to their channel um so the reason i'm excited today is because i'm three and zero thirty three decades on earth three decades of god's faithfulness and my favorite song um, of all time is titled Remind Me Dear Lord. And in the chorus of that song, it says, Dear Lord, roll on the curtain of memory. Show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. Remember, I am human and humans forget. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. So it says, you know, God, take me back. You know, help me to look back. Uh, and, and, and show me where you've brought me from and I want to tell you the story of where God has brought me from um, I can say that he actually brought me out of a merry clay and set my my feet on the rock and on higher ground and I am so grateful to God today um, that marks my 30th um, so I was born in a um, in, in a polygamous house my dad had many wives and many children i was one of about 30 children i was kind of in between around the 12 um, i was like the 12th 13th child and um you know my parents were not educated nobody in my family was but also we were not well to do um so there, there was no hope of like going to school even though my dad tried to send all of us to public school, government schools, um, high school, uh, but many of us, many of us didn't finish. Um, now that I think about it, not because we didn't want to, but because there was no model, you know, for us. Um, but for me, I am so grateful to God for giving me an opportunity um, to be able to finish my high school. Not only finish high school, but you know, go to university. The first you know, in my family to do so. But all of this is also tied to a very life-changing experience that I had in high school, where one of my friends, who still remains my very good friend, um, uh, Mary, she's a lawyer now, you know, in, in high school, she introduced me to Christianity. And I remember being so fascinated and enthralled, you know, and I remember going back home that day after school and actually praying, you know, to God uh, and saying that God, please save my soul. And I was, I, I believe I was saved. And that was the start of a new path for me. And um, it was not only that after that, I started, I had this renewed, um, you know, zeal to study because I was really not a very great student before that. Um, but also that I was I was living a very horrible life um, before then I, I suffered or I, I had I had acute kleptomania and um, it was it was a shame to, to me to my family to everyone but after that experience um, with um, you know going home and praying to God everything changed and I became very um like i it just wouldn't occur to me you know to still after that so that was a radical change in my life for me but after that so i i finished high school um with good grades but there was no hope of going to the university because there was no one in my family who had done so and also because my parents could not afford it uh, but luckily um, somebody in my hometown who is very um, who is who is rich and you know um, and I think is very is still very accomplished 
he decided to give back to the community at that time so he was looking for indigent but brilliant students that he could sponsor to the university and i was very fortunate and blessed to be one of the people that he selected to sponsor to the university so that helped me and i was able to gain admission to the university of ibadan nigeria which is a premier university of um, uh, um, in nigeria and um, i mean nigerians know that the university of ibadan is probably one of the most one of the toughest university to get into because um, everybody wants to go there and um, so at the university my first year it was really tough because i was you know i was i was around 16 i was very young and i was you know in class with all of this well spoken very eloquent articulate people and i was very frustrated and intimidated and i was like oh god i should go back home i can't do this but i was um you know i thank god i i had i had I had a company of really young and wonderful God-fearing people who encouraged me and I stayed and I studied really hard but also prayed and four years later I graduated from the University of Ibadan on scholarship with a first class um, and um, that was you know that was just I, I, I can't tell you how that happened uh, but I finished with first class and and so for that reason I got um, university scholarship again to do my masters um, at the university for free um, and also they, they were paying me monthly because I was a university scholar and um, after my masters I, I finished my masters also with with distinction and after that my supervisor then encouraged me to you know um seek opportunities outside of nigeria for a phd and i must say before my before my phd i didn't think i was going to do a phd i wanted to go into the corporate world because that was you know that was quick money and i could i would be you know be able to help my family with that but when i finished my masters not one not two not three professors told me that you should enroll for a phd because you have what it takes so um so my my super with the help of my supervisor i was able to apply for a um for a scholarship to do my phd in south africa at the university of fitzwater's rand um and so i i i yeah i got the admission i got the scholarship i went to university to south africa in johannesburg um, and I did my PhD there and um, I finished my PhD in 2020 when I was 26 going on 27 that's another miracle on its in its own um, because you know some people will say that okay but you know there are people who got their PhD at 24 that's not that is not um, extraordinary but for me it is because of my background because of where I come from um, and <clears throat> you know I think it was Albert and Einstein who said that there are two kinds of people uh, there are people who live their life as if everything is a miracle and there are people who live their life as if everything just happens there's no miracle attached to it and I think I belong to that first group so I finished my PhD 26 going on 27 and then there was an absolute lockdown because of covid and it was it was a very tough time for me because i couldn't go back to nigeria um and you know i wasn't i didn't see myself staying in in south africa and so i didn't know what to do but i got i got um i got another funding to do a postdoc for one year so during the covid i was doing my postdoc um but i was kind of like hopeless and thinking what should i do um but you know there is a scripture in the book of proverbs that says um trust in the lord um always lean not lean not on your own understanding um acknowledge him in all your ways and he would brighten your path 
and that is, that was exactly what I did. I trusted completely in God. I I didn't try to lean on my own understanding, and and I, I and and I just trusted God. I trusted. I entrusted my life unto Him that He was going to help me um, come with me. Um, you know, there is a song that we sing. It says, uh, "Then come with me, my blessed Lord will pilot me." And that's actually, if you ask me, what's my philosophy of life, or what's my, um, you know, what's my watchword? I would say that it's you know, the Lord pilots my life. Um, so, an opportunity. Uh, came at a university in Canada someone actually sent it to me on whatsapp and I was like okay let me just try this maybe you know God can uh, make it work out uh, even though it was almost impossible to um, to get a job out when in Canada when you are outside when you're living um, you know in of all places in Africa right so and it was a blessing in disguise because um, if, if there was no COVID, I probably would not get that job because I would be required to travel um, for an interview and the visa process might might be very um, discouraging. But because it was COVID, so I, I did my interviews online and I got a job and um, I got a job in a Canadian university. Um, as an assistant professor at 28 going on 28 I was going on 28 then um, which is another miracle on itself in itself so um, so what to cut the long story short I um, I don't think that I have always figured everything out um, I don't think that's has been that has been the case for me I think it's just a story of God's grace it's a story of leaning on to God and um, and trusting in God that he's going to make things work out and just looking up to him and it's also it's not also that I have been righteous all through my life no um, you know there were times I didn't get it right with God but I always know that you know um, you know with god everything is possible and i do my path i work hard um but also i pray and i look to god for his mercies and grace and he he comes through for me every time so this is an encouragement to every young person out there that um you know you can you can trust god with your life you can entrust your life in god's hand and he will he will pilot you um, there's another song that says, I just keep trusting my Lord, um, you know, even when things are not, uh, even when things are not clearest to me, even when life seems dark, you know, I just keep my hope and I keep my focus on God. I set my face like a flint and, and God always comes through. So I am so excited. I am so grateful to God for this three decades that I have spent on earth you know God has um, done many great things in my life um, I am grateful for friends you know really good friends who helped me all along the way I am grateful for mentors I think that God has really really blessed me with mentors each step of my way because I don't think there was a, I don't think I could have figured these things out all by myself but God Kind of orchestrated the people that he brought into my life and i'm forever grateful for that i'm grateful um, for good health you know uh, for good health yeah. during covid i also i also got covid i was sick and um and and even now i am still recovering but um but i i realized that it is when you are unhealthy that you really begin to appreciate health, good health. And so I'm grateful to God for his healing work upon me. And, um, you know, I don't think I, I, I have the, the next um, three decades of my life figured out or the next five decades figured out. But I do know one thing that I will continue to entrust my life in God's hand. And I know that in his faithfulness, 
is going to continue to pilot me. So happy birthday to me and I hope that someone is encouraged by my testimony. Oh, my God.